very simple and basic Minecraft project. This is always the project that I have my students complete first, just because it does a, a great job of, of introducing students to the building tools in Minecraft um, and getting them accustomed to, to learning on Minecraft. And it just involves coordinate planes and number lines. And just the basics and some vocabulary associated with those two things. So if we look, here's a coordinate plane that a student built. And they could build it either vertically, going up and down, or they could build it flat, horizontal on the ground. So the things the students had to have. They had to label the quadrants in Roman numerals. So we have quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4. They also had to label their x-axis and their y-axis. So label the quadrants, label the axis. In the middle of their graph, they should have labeled their origin. So here we have the origin at 0, 0. And then all around the graph, they should label points. They're actually going to plot points on their coordinate plane. So if we look at this coordinate plane, and we were to go up to this point, this student actually plotted and labeled this point. This point's ordered pair. The coordinates of it are 11, 10. negative 4 comma 6 here and then um, I asked them to label points in every quadrant so they also label points in quadrant 3 we have negative 2 negative 1 and in quadrant 4 2 negative 1 so just a very basic relatively simple task for students to complete on Minecraft just building a coordinate plane and, and then plotting some points on your own in addition to the coordinate plane, students also had to create number lines. And again, they could do them on the ground or vertical. So let's take a look at the vertical number line here. The only requirements I had, they had to extend their number line out to positive 10 and negative 10. And for this one, I wanted 0 to be in the middle of the number line. I wanted them to show me 0 directly in the middle of the number line. And then, of course, it is a number line, so that it had to have arrows at the end. It makes it a line. Most students chose to label every single point on their number line. But if we look, zeros in the middle. As we go up, we have positive numbers. Down, you have negative numbers. And the world is in cubicles. It was important. Students had to screenshot for this project, and so I, I, um, I caught a few of them. A lot of them would screenshot their graphs from the wrong direction, so they would screenshot from over here. And when they screenshot from the opposite direction, their quadrants are then incorrect. So it was um, a good learning experience for a lot of students just to see uh, perspective there. You can see the different levels of um, building skills on Minecraft with the first project. You can tell some students had, had never played Minecraft prior to this build, whereas other students had, had played a, a good bit. This was unique. <clears throat> I had a student build their coordinate plane and then they included a key, so color-based key. So he's got his quadrants. The blue wool is is or the light blue wool is quadrant one. So that was that was neat. It was the first time I'd seen somebody include a key with their their coordinate plane. So it was cool. And students had three days to complete this. Three days was the cutoff. I didn't give any more or any less. They had three days to complete it. 